Hi, this is Dan from Tiny Home Builders, and today I'm going to show you how to use the free version of SketchUp as it stands today, which is um, early 2021. I previously shot a video that showed you how to download the free version of the desktop version of SketchUp and how to use that. And uh, recently, Trimble came out with a online version of SketchUp, and so they actually discontinued the free version of the desktop app. They still offer the desktop app. That's still what we use when we're designing our plans, but now the free version is online. And it looks a little bit different, but it functions just the same. So um, let me show you how to, how to download that. So if you go up to SketchUp.com and you go to Plans and Pricing, there is a personal option here. And then when you go to the personal option, you can see that there is SketchUp free. And this is web only. So you will only be able to upload your documents um, to, the, to their platform online. You won't have something on the desktop, but again, it's, it's very similar. So you just sign up, the process is free. Um, I've already got an account here. So um, this is my, my free account that I've created for this demo. Um, so it's not, you know, it doesn't show me all of my, my other, uh, other applications that I have that are offered through SketchUp. But you can see here, it takes me to the online version of SketchUp and asks you if you wanna start modeling or you take a tour. A tour is definitely worthwhile if you're new to it to find out where all of the tools are. But I'm gonna go ahead and just say open from my computer, pick one of our sets of plans, let that, let that load up. Okay, and you can see that the uh, it loaded just like it would on the desktop version. This is a little bit different, as I said. It is quite a bit cleaner looking, um, but if you're not used to it, you do have to kind of uh, poke around a little bit, but um, it, it won't take you long if you're already used to it. If you're not used to it, I definitely recommend going back to the other video that I recorded so that you can uh, see how to use the tool sets. And the icons are very similar. You know, I talk about these icons here, um, the orbit, the, the pan, and then the zoom. These are the ones that you'll primarily use when, when navigating. So uh, the icons look the same. So if you see the other video, you definitely will, will know what, um, what to do here. It's just that they're a little bit more hidden here because they're hidden underneath this, this little, little uh, icon, the little, the little um, orbit, orbit icon. But if I click orbit, I can orbit around. And you've got some, you know, the tape measure icon here. So you can do tape measures again, go back to the other video so you can, uh, you can see, see how these work. Uh, over on the, over on the side, the two main areas that I use is the tags. So they've renamed, um, layers to tags, but it's the concept is the same. You can turn off the various layers in a model. And then we've got the scenes here. Let me go ahead and close the tags. We've got the scenes here, which as I said in the other, the other video, these scenes closely correspond to the pages in our plan. So you can see, you know, it gives you a little preview plane, pane. Um, you can see the various uh, scenes that we've created that we use in our plans to show you, um, kind of help you along with, with figuring out how the, the structure goes together. But you can click on any one of these and it'll take you directly to that, to that scene. Okay, I hope that, uh, I hope that helps um, and enjoy.